Hello, everybody. My name is Doug Nelson, and we're playing Narcissus again. First one, side, side one. I don't know if that's what you call it. All right, so we already had that. My legs feel felt a bit thin, but that's not your imagination. The needle on the scale would tell you. And yet, I was looking at myself somehow objectively, as if watching a stranger like looking at a single scene on television. The sudden things that happened in my body, my head, I couldn't keep up with them. Oh, no. My head couldn't keep up with them. The freeze, the feeling that was... The, the freezing? <laughs> Where did I come up with that? The feeling that what was happening was real, didn't arise. And so, even though it was supposed to be my own body, I could only watch myself from afar with cold eyes. Winter 2004. One month after the release of Halo 2. Yes, I remember the exact release date. November 11th. All the way. Around when Christmas trees were disappearing from the streets. Oh, so it's after Christmas. Perhaps it was due to being the end of the year, but I was allowed to return home. In the end, it seemed to be only temporary, but even then, I was a bit happy. Good for you. But it's raining, so that's great. In a mix of rain and sleet, I returned home for the first time in a while. For some reason, everyone in the family was gathered. Because it's like New Year's Eve. Some people do that. Even though my parents normally didn't speak much, while being a bit stiff, they smiled at me. While they're not being douches, then. The little sister who I always argued with made my favorite cream and stew for our trip. How old is she? Cause she's old enough to cook. We sat next to each other in the Kota Su Subaru. Kota Su. Uh, they peeled mandarins for me. They were excessively kind. That was the impression I left during this time. I had just a bit of realization. Still left in the pocket, the brand that brand new license. That license, without giving rise to any particular value, might expire. While having stiff, unnatural smiles directed at me. Well, they were unnatural. Damn it! I thought they were gonna be nice people. Calmly, vaguely, rather simply, I thought of that as if thinking of someone else. You're thinking of me? I'm a nice person. Here come meet me in January 2005. Oh, it says that right there. Right. I was reading it up, up on the screen. The new year came in and now returned again to the hospital. That sucks. For some reason on that day, I didn't go to the fourth floor, but instead to a conference room. Was made to go. I keep forcing her to do stuff. There was my father and a doctor. I heard many things. Was made to listen. Can it not say I was instead of was all the time? It was that thing called notification, probably. I don't know what that word means. They had an extremely indirect way of speaking, but in the end, it seemed like I was going to die. Oh. Oh! Okay. Wow. Alright. Alright. So, we already know what's going to happen now. question is when. I see. I mean, everybody's going to die at one point in their life. And then nothing is going to matter anyways. So, you know what? I'm just going to shut up. That was why I was only able to reply with that. I couldn't find it. other words from when I entered until I left the room. That was all that I said. Accepting my answer, Doctor moved the ballpoint pen in his hand. Most likely, it was the paperwork for the hospice. To the very end, he was very biz businesslike. My father was very much the same. It was such a simple thing. It's not really. I mean, I, d I don't even know what's going on. That was my honest impression. Scene change. And then between that day and the next day, I changed from the 4th to the 7th floor. Oh! It makes sense now! 
Although that's the second game. The first, the first part I did of this was the second game, so... Forget everything that happened then. For a, pa for a six patient room to a single. Oh, you get a single room, that's nice. And also, the seventh floor itself was a bit, was a bit different from other floors. For one thing, the floors were sparkling. The ceilings were much higher, much broader. Extremely clean. That's nice. The large windows seem to design to let in lots of sunlight. That's also nice. How the windows open only open a tiny bit. Probably because people would try to commit suicide. And that's not a thing a hospital wants to have to deal with. When I tried measuring, it was just slightly smaller than allowing your head pass through. Your head pass through. Oh, okay. It's slightly smaller. The other thing was, the color of the ID bracelet changed. Since the day I was admitted, a vinyl bracelet was wrapped around my wrist. Upon it was my name and blood type. That color had changed from blue to white. Alright, it's all making sense now. Blue to white. It's making sense. High ceiling, white vinyl bracelets, window that can only open 15 centimeters. Where have I heard that before? The day I was transferred to the 7th floor. It was when the boring New Year's program would still be broadcast. I hate those. I don't have TV anymore, so it doesn't matter. The time I met her for the first time was also at the very beginning of the year. Ooh! I still don't know what my gender is. So I could be female, or I could be male. Or I could be female and reading this from the book. Alright then. Or I could just... You keep interrupting me. Thank you. Alright, winter 2005, the seventh floor. I I know this place. And then the music goes over in the prison. Across the hall, facing the nurse's station, was a... Those fucking bitches. Was a lounge-like place. Left in that unpopulated place were a number of text messages that I'm getting right now. Who the hell is it? Never mind, I'm making a video. Screw that. Um, were a number of sofas, folding chairs, and a large television. On that 28-inch CRT, a meaningless New Year's program was running. Hey, 28, that's pretty good. It's bigger than my TV. It's when I have my room. Nothing's like 12. New Year's programs, okay. Watching that bored television with an equally boring, bored expression was some girl. Oh, we're talking about somebody else now. See a small build and wear pink pajamas. Her wrist hid just like I did a white bracelet. I still don't know who I am. Hair that was to her hips left an impression. Hey you, is that interesting? I'm not gonna say about it. Maybe like, hey you. That interesting, unless I'm a girl. That'll sound really weird. There wasn't any with, any, there wasn't with any particular deep meaning, since there was no one around. There was deep voice though. I tried speaking to her profile. All right. That was all that she replied with. She didn't even turn towards me, even though I, I had spoken to her. Is she gonna be a bitch too? Probably not, cause she's probably the one that's dying. I think we're both dying. Perhaps she had absolutely no interest in me. She continued to gaze at the television with a bored look. If she, if it's boring you, you don't have to watch it. As I thought that, I also sat down in a folding chair. And sitting next to her, I gazed at the television. There was nothing else to do. Nothing else I could do. That is true. All you can do is die. That's the sad part. But it's also true. Quietly, we continued to gaze at the television. On the screen were the usual New Year's programs, pathetic impersonations, and parlor tricks. Damn it! Oh, New New Year's. I think I said New York. <laughs> Occasionally, ringing out the host's stupidly high-pitched laugh, and the just like me <laughs> in the pure white sunlit room, it dryly revert. River braid. River braid. Whatever. Yeah. Yes? What would you like to know? 
Suddenly the girl spoke to me while still gazing at the television. You are on which time? Again! With this question! I don't know what the hell you mean. Oh, which time? What? Exactly! Come here at the seventh floor. So I don't understand the meaning of the question. I see. It's your first. It's... I... No, actually I've been here twice now. It seemed that at my inability to understand what she was saying, she had up and gotten satisfied with that joke. Yeah. Well, there's no one else around, so it's... No, oh no, that's what she's saying. I'm sorry. Duty. <laughs> you said duty. That's not funny. Oh, the music's gone down. What's happening? While well, nodding, she added that there was a rule. And then the music loops again. Alright. That there is a rule for someone to teach people who first come here to the seventh floor. Even now, I understood nothing. And as if ignoring me, the girl slowly began speaking. Damn it, right click. Yes, I'm listening. Fade to a gray screen. That's nice. The girl's words came by ones and twos. And threes and fours. They were slightly different compared to the doctor's speech that I had heard up until coming here. In that business-like speech from the doctor, it was said that this was a place to await the advancement of medicine. Yes, if you can get that fast. I don't want to have to, like, fucking have someone die. It was also called a place for healing the heart. Most likely, and breaking it, for that matter, possibly in the end. Most likely, broadly speaking, that was probably correct. However, from what the girl said, that was a facade. The seventh floor was with it. Hospital, but was the only place that didn't give treatments. That's not simply a place to wait for the. Oh my God! Simply a place to wait for the end of life. That's what the girl said. That's what I also felt, and had the same perception. I'm on my second time. You see. I keep reading her lines. I'm terrible. Second time, what's that? Coming to this place. Yeah, cause she left and then she came on. Right. And the girl taught me. This place called the seventh floor to be here from the moment of admission all the way until dying. First of all, apparently didn't happen. Well, why would they keep you in a hospital? Why can't you just go back to your house? And die there. I don't want to die in a hospital. That's gross. <laughs> Even if being cured was impossible, if your house becomes better, then they won't. Then they would allow you to come to go home. Then they would allow you to come to go home once. But after a while, it turns bad, and once again, you come back. Also, so they do let you go home. Among those comings and goings, eventually you die. The place where life ran out, it only differed between home and the seventh floor without fail. One would die in either of those. It seemed no one has ever escaped there. Then, es then try. Escape it. Do it. I dare you. You're gonna die anyways. It was with that meaning that the girl had meant by saying it was her second time. Yeah. Well, I only... Keep reading her lines. I'm so sorry. I intend to. So looking at the dull screen, the girl continued speaking even more. The subject being not only what the lights would be out, what what time the lights would be out, and the normal sorts of topics exchanged between admitted patients. She taught me about totally different things. Okay, this is my line. Just, just a second. On the third time, you're giving a temporary discharge. Prepare yourself. There's never a fourth. You won't be going home anymore. What type of hospital is this? You're only allowed to go home three times, sir. You can't come back a. F you can. You can't go back a fourth. You have to die here. Bitches, I bet it's the nurses. 
But there's a time that you want to run away. Go not to Station A, but towards Station B. Don't eat anything. That is the shortest path. It will end with the least burden to your family. It was only full of those sorts of topics that gives one pause. Most likely, it was something only for the people who came here. Though just those who participated in moving towards death. These were the things that have continued to be passed down. It was the duty you mentioned earlier this. Hey. I almost read her line again. I was Oh, it's all making sense now. Oh my god, she's gonna she's gonna die at the end of this game, isn't she? And then in the beginning of the second game, I'm telling the <sighs> Alright. I think I'm gonna stop recording here. Cause I'm gonna I'm just gonna edit this and upload it and make another one. So Thanks for watching this. It's really sad. But, you know, it's a game. But there is things in the world that happen like this. and It's just, it's just sad to think about that. So, I hope you watch the next videos and the ones before this to make, because you know, you want it to make sense, so. See you next time. Bye.